so stressful. <laughs> oh, Matepe, here we come. Island van life in Nicaragua is way harder than we thought. We're gonna need help right where we are right now. But we're also making some of our favorite memories in all of Central America. You wake up next to monkeys on Ometepe. And unfortunately, some of the worst. We're fucked. Super wet down there, but like there's two spots where it might be able to park. It's just a matter of getting down there. Oh, yeah. He just literally dug in so deep right here. No Look how deep he went here too. Yeah, like he gets soft. When I said the road gets back towards the ocean. So we gotta figure out how we're getting out though now too. <laughs> There's a giant box truck behind us now too. Those are uh, Rachones. Rachones, yeah. yeah, yeah. Solo. Uh, no. Front. Yeah, yes. no, cuatro por cuatro. No. no. Los otros amigos suyos? Sí, sí. estoy bien, me ha, tienes ah. cuatro. Cuatro. Cuatro ah. para cuatro. Yes. Okay. Oh my God, I'm always like, if a big truck could do it, we could do it. Uh, but probably not. We got the whole town watching. What's up? You said go slow. Okay. Oh, good. that did not sound good. I think you're on something. I think there's a big rock under there. Oh. Ouch. Perfecto. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. All right, we got the big UP truck. We're following them. No more four by four today, buddy, okay? After we get out of here. Let's... Next next time we have a road like this, I'm gonna let Ernie and Allie go down it first. And we're gonna walk it. Yeah, we keep walk talking it. about walking it and then we don't walk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. Walk it, walk it like I talk it. Pretty sure that's the rock and then that's the ground over there. Section by section, just making our way. Oh, that was way better than the first time. Maybe just pull off. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna pull off right up here. We've made it to a beautiful camp spot for the night. And I was like, oh, let's make some dinner, see what our options are. Right. Our options are nothing. Berkey jumped up on one of the bad roads and actually freaking broke. This little part is supposed to have a plastic nub that sticks to the end of it. Basically, we can't make a seal on the Berkey anymore to get drinking well, the good part is, is that we didn't fill it up all the way before so now we don't have any extra drinking water except for what's in our tank when the Berkey flipped over the water poured into the cooktop and now each of the burners for the cooktop is full of water Frank's gonna try to pull it apart so maybe we could get some water out of it this happened one time before and we just like waited a couple days. The back burner worked and the front burner didn't. So it was like, whatever. But this time both of the burners are drowned. You put some flame to it, some stuff to it and we should have fire. Hopefully not in a kind of way. No, just hopefully it dries it out. And we'll be good to go. So that was completely full of water. And now it's not. So that's good. This one's still dripping at the pipe itself. Oh, really? Just slightly. That is the low part of the whole system. When I put it back together and I fire it up, we should be pretty good to go. I'll wait outside the van for the first light. Okay. We are both so tired. So tired. We're just talking to this woman, Jen, who lives here, and she basically said, Ometepe is either the best experience that you've ever had in your life or the most terrible. There's nothing in between. Yeah, it's just super extreme in both directions. We've had tons of amazing experiences, and now we've had some pretty shitty ones too. Yeah. Both of us are exhausted and tired and just like emotionally overwhelmed. And This yeah. is an absolutely magnificent place though. Yeah. If you have four wheel drive. <laughs> Moment of truth. Well, hold on, hold on. The truth is, it don't work yet. Let's try that again. Oh, fucking dick. You turn the gas off. I didn't off. put the gas fully on there yet. Oh, you like fully disconnected it. What happened? <gasps> Something broke? The piece that I think secures it broke. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. I fucked. I felt it too. So what broke? The cap that goes around this to secure it, I think. Like, in place. All that little plastic bits. Yeah, I don't know where they went, but we don't have another line either. Like, see? Um, 
I could think I could hear it like leaking. Really? Yeah. That's super bad. There's got to be a solution. It's just I we're certainly not going to find it on Ometepe. No thing for a while. Well, you got the water out and you fixed that. Yeah. Good job. No drinking water. No way to heat our water to drink it. And uh, yeah, exhausted. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. Come on in. That was me, buddy. Hi. Sometimes while you're eating your you breakfast, recording? you get interrupted by a little doggy. A little doggy? <laughs> well, he thinks he's a little doggy. All right, I'm gonna finish my breakfast. Thanks, though. So Olive has been having a morning. Our friends Jen and her partner JC are trying to find a gasket for the propane. We'll see if that works out or not. Ernie and Allie are here. They wanna go on the hike. We're gonna go with them. We have to go with them because it's a drive and Olive, we don't wanna make the drive. We've done enough questionable drives on Ometepe for a lifetime. So we're gonna hop in their van and drive over to the waterfall hike. It's supposed to be beautiful, so worth it. Um, so hopefully that kind of lifts our spirits a little bit because we're definitely feeling like we've had a day. You know? You know? Ready? Ready? Go. I'd like to rent a horse though because this walk is going to be a lot. But you're allergic to horses. Fuck. Is that okay? You're allergic to horses but uh, still getting on a horse to go? That's probably a bad idea, you're right. Did you take some Benadryl with you? No, we Anything? didn't even bring our wallets so Ernie and Allie have to pay for us because we're ding holes. So excited. and definitely made the hike worth it. What you got? People down here are very resourceful. So for this spot, there used to be a plastic piece that went behind this, and the guy figured out a way to put like a piece of plastic back behind it, and you could see that it kind of sealed on the back end too. It might be in the money for a little while. This is the moment of truth. We had a couple of fake moments of truth yesterday. Went on well. I don't smell anything either. Let's turn it on and see if it'll go. Like yesterday is because it got wet. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, pull it away. I will take it. At least we can make tea and coffee and know oh, the most important things of life. Yeah, baby! We're coming Ow. up! Hopefully, tonight is our last night on Ometepe. I say hopefully because we don't have a reservation for the ferry, so we're gonna have to hope that we get on it tomorrow. But so we're doing a little family dinner here at the spot that we're camped at. Family dinner spaghetti night! Yay! Dinner night, Scotty! We love Scotty here. Ooh. How is it? Family dinner? Mm hmm. Amazing. So good. Thanks for cooking. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> We're so grateful for the fact that we got to park here and camp here at this little spot. Uh, it was actually closed, but they allowed us in and it was only $5 a night, which was great. We met a wonderful lady named Jen and she actually has an animal shelter here. We'll link the stuff in the notes below. It was amazing meeting all the dogs that have been spaded and also are now like feeling good. Bye! Wow. Time to get to that ferry. Oh, shoot. Brakes, brakes on. <laughs> Need that off. Bye. We're about an hour drive from the ferry terminal. We've been going like 20 minutes every day further away from it. So now we've got to get all the way back and fingers crossed they've got room for us on the next boat. Power's on, baby. Juice it up. They are working on 
finishing the pavement road around the island, uh, but it's not done yet. But maybe by the time you get here, it will be this smooth pavement the whole way. Because this island has put Olive to the test. We rolled up at 10.15. They say we can get on the 11 o'clock boat, which is perfect. It's already loading. We've just paid. It was only 700 on the way back. It was 1,100 on the way here. So we were more than prepared to get on this ferry. And yeah, we didn't have to wait at all. It's amazing. Now Frank has just got to back all of down the port and up the gangway, and we'll be good to go. Is that what's called the gangway? I don't know. I think that's a boating thing. Am I right or am I wrong? Let me know in the comments below. Dos, and then uh, mi amigos, dos vans. Sí. Sí, este, el impuesto portuario ya lo pagó. Ah, uh, sí. The guy's asking for sí. some more money for what we don't know. This happened at the other port too. It was like, oh, surprise, an extra hundred here. Oh, surprise, an extra hundred here. And you're like, okay. So they're making us pay the port which is uh, an extra hundred for each of us. It totaled, it almost cost us a thousand here as well. It was a little, it's definitely less than the other spot, but you know. I'm gonna go see if they need cash. Okay. Gracias. Now we can officially get on the boat, which is hopefully as easy as it sounds. Ooh, that's a tight gate and all those people. In Chihuahua, <laughs> they love Paco. Yeah, they do. We are so glad to be getting off of Ometepe. I feel like we were jinxed this whole time here and can't wait to get back on dry land. It's our friend right there. That process is so weird though. The roads just become water. A huge thank you to our Patreons who have our backs even when times get tough.